Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of Exchange 2013 2019 coexistence video. My name is Ed, and in the previous part, we looked at installing the PowerShell prerequisites for Exchange Server 2019. In this video, we're going to be doing .NET 4.8. So, I already launched uh, .NET 4.8 because it takes a couple of seconds or minutes to run through all the files to get it going. So, there you can see is the .NET file. Um, just remember when you download a file to always take the block off here and then start the installation. So this is the first screen. You have to accept the license terms. Click install. Now the install is pretty quick um, but this is one of the requirements for Exchange Server 2019. Um, you'll notice that on 2013 we did or the server already had .NET 4.7.2 but we were going to install it in any way. Um, you need to be aware that you can only install um, .NET versions that are supported with that CU. So if you're running Exchange 2019, for example, um, sorry, 2016, for example, CU 12, it doesn't support it, but CU 13 does, and so forth. So just be aware of <coughs> um, what is required. You can always head over to the uh, Microsoft site and if you're not sure you can basically if you want to go and see the different versions you can switch between them but this basically tells you what software to install if it said for example 4.7.2 then it'll be listed here for you to install so this will take a couple of minutes I'm not going to keep the video running for that time because sometimes it can get stuck or it seems like it's stuck and then there's nothing actually happening. So once this is done, in the next part, we'll be doing uh, the UCMA, which is Unified Communications um, version 4, and then the Visual C++ binaries. So see you in part C of part 8 <laughs> of our coexistence video. Thank you very much for watching.